Science in pajamas. Woo. All right, today we're going to talk about dis or distance and displacement. And we're also going to first begin by talking about direction because that's going to have a big impact on what we discuss. Now, in, in physics, when we talk about direction and how far you move in one direction versus another, we can assign them instead of saying like north or south, we can talk about them as positive or negative. So a positive direction or a positive value for a direction just means you're heading in one direction. A negative value would mean that you're moving in the opposite direction, so you're going backwards. So for instance, I'm going positive direction. Now I'm going negative direction. So that's all it means. As opposed to math, where when you have a negative value, it means it's less than zero. The negative sign does not influence the value at all. It's all about the direction of the motion or the velocity or the acceleration. It's all about direction. So a lot of times what we'll talk about is if a value is either to up or to the right, we consider it positive, a positive value. If it is to the left, or if it is down, we consider it a negative value. And again, remember, we're just talking about opposite directions. Well, left is opposite of right, which is why left is negative and right is positive. Down is the opposite of up, which is why down is negative and up is positive. All right, so that's going to come into a large part of this. So now that we know what the signs mean, positive and negative, now we're going to start talking about distance versus displacement. They are very, very similar terms, but they are not the same. <laughs> now, what I mean by they are not the same, I mean the focus on, yes, how far you're moving, but the the way it's being measured is going to be a little bit different. So distance is your actual full path that you travel. So let's say I have this person here. And this is their initial location. It's where they are starting from. Well, this person walked. And that is where they end up. That is their final position. Now, that entire ground line, if we were to measure each and every part of this, and you know, like taking it, stretching it out, and measuring the entirety of it, that's distance. Distance, like we said, is the actual full path. So each and every step that was taken along this line is part of the distance. Displacement, on the other hand, is the straight line change in position. Meaning, if you start here and you end there, your change in position would be that. So that blue line represents the displacement. It's looking at where do you end up relative to where you started. So in this case, I end up, let's say, slightly southeast from the starting position. And that blue line, whatever the value of that is, would be the displacement. So distance, full path. Displacement, the change in position as a straight line. All right, let's do some examples. So let's say we have this person right here. They swim in a straight line for 15 meters. They end up here. So the 
This is the initial. This is the final position. What would be the distance and displacement? Well, they traveled 15 meters. So the distance the distance I'm going to put the answers over there so we can work out any math that we need to right here. So they start here, they travel 15 meters. So that is their distance. All right, where did they end up relative to where they started? Well, they started here, they went to there. That is 15 meters to the right. So as you can see, there are times when distance and displacement will be the same amount. But there's also times where they will not be. Take another example. Right. So here we have our person still. They are going to move South for five meters, that's five meters south. They're going to move ten meters east, and then they are going to move five meters north. So let's figure out the distance and displacement in this problem now. Now remember, distance is the entire path, so we're just going to add everything up. 5 plus 10 is 15. 10 plus 5 would be, sorry, 15 plus 5 would be 20. So for the distance, it's the whole path. We have 5 plus 5 plus 10 equals 20. We have 20 meters is the distance. But the displacement, remember, we're looking at the straight line difference between where this person started and where they ended. So that's, they started here, they ended there. We have to find out what that red line is. Now remember what we were saying about positive and negatives? So that's where this is going to come in play. We're still going to add everything up, but now we have to take the direction into consideration. Now we can only add up that they're going in the same plane. So if they're going up and down versus left or right. Let's look at all the vertical values. We have 5 and 5. We have 5 down, which is negative 5, plus 5 up, positive 5 equals a zero meter change in position vertically. And then, so that's up and down, left and right. We only have the one value, 10 meters, and it's going east, it's going to the right. So that means that this red line is simply this value because these two cancel each other out. So we are left with 10 meters east as our displacement. Yes, you do need to include the direction. And in physics, you should always include your units. So even though the path is 20, the, meaning the distance is 20 meters, the actual displacement, the change in where you start and where you end up is 10 meters to the east. Another example. Yeah. All right. 
So now we have a person. They are swimming laps in a pool. So they're going to go back and forth. That's their initial position. I'm going to go swim 20 meters in that direction. And they come back another 20 meters. Then they go back. That's another 20 meters. And then they come back again. Now this is strictly in the horizontal plane, so we don't have to worry about vertical values. What would happen here is, just like before, we're going to include all of the numbers. So we have 20 and 20 to the right, and we have 20 and 20 to the left. We're going to add them all up. 20 to the right is positive, plus 20 to the left is negative, plus 20 to the right is positive, plus 20 to the left is negative. So we have 20 plus negative 20 is 0, plus 20 is 20, plus negative 20 is 0 meters. Their displacement is zero meters because where this person ended up is the exact same place where they started. Remember, displacement is the change of position from where you start to where you end. If there's no change in position, if you end up where you started, there's no change in that position. So your displacement would be zero meters. However, this person swimming still did have a distance. We swam 20 plus 20 plus 20 plus 20 equals 80 meters. Not too bad, right? No, not too bad. All right. Let's see. I'll do another one. All right. So let's see. I'm going to make this one a little more complicated. Why? Why not? All right. So we have net, 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 net. So this is our path. Person starts here, they walk that way, 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 you end up there. Now yes, I am gonna give values to these, so don't freak out too much. So first you travel Five meters north, then six meters east, then eight meters north. Then we're going to go ten meters east, then we're going to go four meters south, five meters west, or as Patrick from SpongeBob would say, west. We have four meters south. We have 20 meters east, we have 6 meters north, 3 meters east, 11 meters south, 7 meters west, 2 meters south, 2 meters east, 
three meters west, four meters north, and five meters west. Not exactly the scale, but bear with me. All right. So to find our distance, we have to add everything up, everything all together. So we have 5 plus 6 plus 8 plus 10 plus 4 plus 5 plus 4 plus 20 plus 6 plus 3 plus 11 plus 7 plus 2 plus 2. Oops, that one. This is also 2. Two meters south. Plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5. If we were to add up all of those values, we would get for our distance. What is it? 107 meters. So that is our distance, 107 meters, simply by adding up all of these values. So that is a full path that this person walked. However, their displacement is only from here to there. So this is what we want to find for our displacement, because this is the change in position. They started here, they ended up there. What's that change? All right, so remember what we said before about vertical versus horizontal. So let's talk about the vertical first. So it'll be up and down. What we are gonna have is, I'm gonna look at all the ups first. So we have five plus eight. So up, up, that's down, down, up, so plus six. Down, 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 up. Plus 4 equals 23 meters north. All right, let's look at all the downs. We have 4 plus 4 plus 11. Plus 2 plus 2 equals 23 meters south. Now, since this one's north, this one's south, first of all, they're going in opposite directions, so that tells me that I'm going 23 this way and then 23 back this way, but they should cancel out. But remember, we also said when you think about it in terms of direction, so this would equal positive 23 meters. This would be negative 23 meters. And then when we add up the values, the total up and down values, we get 23 plus negative 23. No vertical displacement. I've only looked at vertical so far. I still have to look at the horizontal. So if I'm looking at the rightward directions, we have 6 plus 10. plus 20, plus 3, plus 2, and that would give me plus 41, 41 meters east, and if you look at the westward direction, the one going to the left, 5, 7, plus 7, plus 3, plus 5 equals 20 meters west. So again, now we're going 41 meters this way and then 20 meters this way. So we can think of that as subtraction or as addition with negative sign. So we have 41 east would be a positive direction. 20 west, that's opposite, would be a negative direction. So positive 41 plus negative 20 equals positive 41 meters, meaning 41 meters in the east direction. Now there is no vertical displacement for me to worry about. So that means this is just a straight horizontal displacement. And we just, let's pull my fancy map again. 
So now, what do we do? All right, so we have 21 meters east. That's what this value is. For our displacement, equals 21 meters east. I do want to show you one more and then we'll be done with distance and displacement. All right, so, you ready for this? Let's say you start right here. That's your initial location. You move three kilometers east, and then you move four kilometers north. What is your distance and displacement? So distance always the easiest, just adding everything up. Three plus four, so distance equals three plus four, which is seven kilometers. Your displacement though, this time that's gonna be different. It is not just straight horizontal or vertical. It is now at an angle. Well, how do I figure out that value? I just can't add and subtract in this case. No, but you could use the good old Pythagorean theorem. So if you remember from math class, Pythagorean theorem says, Pythagorean. I'm probably not spelling that correctly. is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So we have our a and our b. We want to find this value, the resultants. The resultants is the hypotenuse that is formed from these two motions in different directions, meaning in different planes of direction. We have horizontal, vertical, what is that hypotenuse? And the hypotenuse in the Pythagorean theorem, that would be C. So we can rearrange this. I'm going to do some rearranging. I want to find what C is. I have to take the square root of both sides. So C, or in this case, oh, maybe write that from there, equals square root of A squared plus B squared. Now remember, we said that C in the Pythagorean theorem is the same thing as R, our resultants. So I'm just going to put that in there now. All right, let's go through and solve this then. So our resultant would be 3 squared plus 4 squared. So 3 squared is 9. 4 squared would be 16. Now if you add up 9 and 16, you get 25. So our resultant is the square root of 25, which would be 5. Therefore, our displacement Again, this one more thing that's spell. Five kilometers, and you can say that is northeast. Now, later on, when we're talking about motion in two directions and vectors, we will talk about how to actually calculate the angle of that path. But right now, we'll just stick with five kilometers to northeast. It's going up, north, and to the east. Okay.
All right. Well, I hope this helped you with distance and displacement. If you have any other questions, see me in our Google Classroom, hit me up on uh, email, or, you know, just in class. All right, you guys. Stay awesome. Stay amazing. Stay curious. Stay safe. All right, you guys. Talk to you later.